love creating cool video content? Whether you're in front of the camera, behind the camera, capturing interesting footage, or editing the clips, with skills like yours, you could potentially turn a hobby into a future career. We spoke to some talented video creators to get their tips. Jessica Kelgren Fozard is a TV presenter and blogger who often shares stories about her life with disabilities and chronic illnesses on her YouTube channel. I found that the online world has been amazing for me. The most important thing about making videos, especially for YouTube, is that you need to be making what's really interesting to you. You should listen to some kind of feedback but do not listen to the haters. Selena Wagner is an award-winning animator and director, specializing in storytelling, design, and animation. Here she shares her tips on how you can use digital resources such as software to try animation yourself. I get to hand draw uh, straight into a computer and make cartoons and animations for TV, the internet, and film. Um, you don't necessarily have to be fantastic at art. You could be really good at writing. Uh, you might be really interested in music or sound recording. Those are all aspects of filmmaking. There's quite a few different free softwares available for smartphones and cameras now that you can just have a play about with. Nikki Lilly is a vlogger who uses her online platform to talk about living with the condition AVM and that it's okay to look different. I love vlogging because vlogging for me is my safe place. I got into vlogging when I was diagnosed with my AVM and because I was at home a lot because I was quite sick I was left feeling quite lonely and isolated and so filming videos and posting them online was really my way to interact with the outside world. If you want to become a vlogger and start a channel I think you need to make sure you're doing it for yourself and not for anyone else and talk about things you're passionate about. You also need to be safe online and make sure that you're not spreading anything like where you live, what school you go to, and you need to make sure that you're safe online and that you have your parents' consent. Chris Kubik is an award-winning documentary and drama filmmaker. When I was a kid, I was always fascinated about nature and film. My best advice to give you is to practice. Practicing is the key. No matter what uh, equipment do you have, is it a smartphone, is it a digital camera, DSLR, it doesn't matter. The matter is that you're practicing all the time. If you fancy getting involved in creating video content, here are some top tips. Number one, practice, practice, practice. You won't be perfect to begin with and this is the only way you'll get better. Number two, watch lots of video content and vlogs to get tips from those who are already making great digital video content. Number three, when you're older, you might try uploading to YouTube to share your content, but you must only do this with consent from your parents or guardian. Number four, try different equipment. You can use a DSLR, a vlog camera, but a mobile phone camera is also ideal. Number five, look for free software packages for anything from editing to animation, anything that will help you build your skills without the expense. Ready to get creative yourself? Check out the Own It website for lots of tips.